Right now at 4.30, Mass General treating the first case of monkeypox in the U.S. this year. The warning signs and how this rare virus spreads. And record heat right around the corner, talking the 90s this weekend. We'll let you know if it could feel like 100. Good news for parents. A new move from the White House to get more baby formula on store shelves. Live from the Channel 4 studios in Boston, this is WBZ News This Morning. Good morning, everybody. 4.30 right now, Thursday morning, May 19th. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Kate Merrill. And I'm Lee Martin. Happy Thursday, everybody. We begin with the next weather alert as we're tracking some extreme heat for this weekend. Zach is here with the details. We might see 100 potentially, Zach. Well, it's going to be feeling that way when you combine the heat along with the humidity, especially come Sunday afternoon. So good morning, everyone. We're going to skip a few days ahead just to make sure that we are all prepared for what happens this upcoming weekend. Saturday's afternoon high record. 93 degrees in Boston. We are forecasting 94. It was 88 in Worcester. We're forecasting the low 80s out into central Massachusetts too. Not exactly a heat wave, but we are going to carry this warmth into Sunday as well. And initially, we were thinking there may be some thunderstorm threat during the height of the afternoon. We're starting to peel that towards the evening hours, if not overnight into early Monday morning, which means that we actually have a higher launching point, which is actually going to introduce some warmer temperatures come Sunday afternoon. That's where we get the heat index, what it feels like close to the triple digits. So we should all be prepared for that. Hydration is going to be key for our weekend plans. Nowhere near that today, though. We see the green spilling across the map, actually around eastern Massachusetts, even though we're starting to see some of the radar indications of rain. The air is not actually saturated, so it's not reaching the surface as of now. But some of the deeper shadings out through northern Worcester County are at least getting into the mix of the light activity and will continue to pick up the pace as we move through the course of the morning hours. So rain ready is the scenario today, mid to upper 50 right now mid to upper 50s for the afternoon maybe checking off 60 degrees in some areas but we are going to see some steadier conditions right around the early afternoon to the southeastern side of the state and then we seem to wipe the slate clean as we go into the evening and overnight hours there's dry out for tomorrow and then the big warm up for the weekend we'll talk more on friday saturday and sunday in just a bit but now we'll get you out the door priyana all right zach we're starting off the live look at the mass pike in alston brighton we got road work up ahead inside of the pru tunnel with some lane closures there and they're shifting lane closures so you want to pay attention. Crews are also working on the pike at the Ted Williams Tunnel in both directions. And there's some more road work westbound out at the Westboro Service Plaza. All of your overnight work is wrapping up within the next half hour at 5 a.m. And as you can see, it is not causing any delays for us, Kate. Brianna, thank you. A rare virus diagnosed in Massachusetts. A patient is hospitalized with monkeypox. It is the first case in the U.S. this year, and uh, that patient is at Mass General. We're going to have more on how this spreads and why this is so unique. Right now at 5, a monkeypox patient being treated at Mass General. How this rare virus spreads and the warning signs to watch for. And excessive heat. This upcoming weekend, we'll talk more on the 90s and the heat exhaustion possibility. Plus, boosting baby formula production to help millions of parents. The new steps from the White House to fill store shelves. Live from the Channel 4 studios in Boston, this is WBZ News This Morning. Good morning, everybody. It's 5 o'clock right now, Thursday morning, May 19th. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Merrill. And I'm Liam Martin. We are gearing up for a weekend of extreme heat. Let's get a check of your next weather forecast with Zach. And uh, could WBZ This Morning is brought to you by Citizens Made Ready. Right now at 5.30, a monkeypox patient being treated at Mass General. How the rare virus spreads and the warning signs to watch for. And excessive heat expected this upcoming weekend. Talking record-breaking temperatures. We'll have more on the 90s coming up. Plus, a good year to be a college graduate. How the current job market is setting them up for success. Live from the Channel 4 studios in Boston, this is WBZ News This Morning. Welcome back, everybody, and good morning. It is Thursday, May 19th. Thanks for starting your day with us. I'm Leah Martin. I'm Kate Merrill. We are in for an extreme warm-up this weekend. Let's get a check of your next weather forecast with Zachary. We're talking extreme heat and a little rain today, Zach. Yeah. Right now at 6, Mass General treating the first case of monkeypox in the U.S. this year. The warning signs and how this rare virus spreads. Excessive heat on its way for the upcoming weekend. We'll talk about the 90s and we could be feeling like the triple digits. Good news for parents. The new move from the White House to get more baby formula on store shelves. Live from the Channel 4 studios in Boston, this is WBZ News This Morning. 
Hi, everybody. Good morning. It is Thursday, May 19th. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Leah Martin. I'm Kate Merrill. We begin this morning with a next weather alert as we track some extreme heat this weekend. Zach Green is here with all of the details. Extreme heat this weekend, a little rain today. Yeah. Closed captioning is brought to you by Bank Hometown. Get personalized financial support to set you on the right path. Unlock your potential at bankhometown.com. Right now at 6.30, a monkeypox patient being treated at Mass General, how the rare virus spreads and the warning signs to watch for. Excessive heat on our doorstep for this upcoming weekend. Talking record-breaking temperature Saturday and Sunday. We'll let you know if we could reach 100. Plus, good news for the class of 2022, how the current job market is setting college graduates up for success. Live from the Channel 4 studios in Boston, this is WBZ News This Morning. Good morning, everybody. 6.30 right now on your Thursday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Merrill. And I'm Leah Martin. We are in for an extreme warm-up this weekend. Let's get a check of your next weather forecast with Zach. Good morning, everybody. 7.26. I'm Leah Martin. Let's get a check of your next weather forecast with meteorologist Zach Green. Hey, Zach. Good morning, Liam. A little bit of cloud cover to go along with the early hours, but the temperatures are relatively uniform. Initially, there was a... WBZ News at Noon starts now with breaking news. Right now in Charlestown, a 13-year-old is in custody at the high school after police tell us they've recovered a gun. The report came in just after 10 o'clock this morning. Police have spent the morning there investigating. We do have a crew working on this story. They are gathering information. We'll have updates for you throughout the day on CBS News Boston. Now new at noon, a next weather alert, possible record high heat this weekend. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for being with us. I'm Paula Evan. We're expecting temperatures in the mid to high 90s. WBZ meteorologist Dave Epstein is here. So Dave, if you're gonna be outside, Breaking now at 5, a heat emergency in Boston ahead of a very hot weekend. On the cusp of a hot weekend, a chance for some records to fall. We'll take a look at those hottest locations and the cooler spots where you can beat the heat. Plus, stepping up security on Revere Beach, why local businesses say the violence there is hurting their business. And the black-owned business in charge of providing students with healthy food and connecting the community. Details of a major new partnership in Boston. The news at 5 starts now. WBZ News at 5 starts now with breaking news. Breaking news as we come on the air here at 5 o'clock. Boston Mayor Michelle Wu has declared a heat emergency for the city this weekend. And it is about to get just steaming hot out there. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. Temperatures this high, what we're looking at this weekend, can actually be dangerous. Boston Mayor Wu, as David mentioned, declared a heat emergency. And WBZ Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher joins us now live in studio. And Eric, to say that it's hot is really an understatement. Yeah. WBZ News at 5.30 starts now. Now at 5.30, a heat emergency declared in Boston for the weekend. Temperatures are expected to soar into the mid-90s. Good evening, I'm Paula Evan. And I'm David Wade. We haven't seen temperatures this high since all the way back in August. Our Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher is here now with your next weather forecast. And everything is kind of holding the same here, Eric. Yeah, no big changes to expect here. Breaking now at 6, a second student now arrested after police found two guns at Charlestown High School. What we are learning about both suspects taken into custody. The rush to repair air conditioners before the extreme heat hits. But we're doing our best to keep up. What you should do now to make sure you're not stuck sweating it out. After a cool day today, we are talking about some record heat this weekend, soaring into the 90s, but some places cooler. We'll take a look at the spots to beat the heat. Plus, some big and good news ahead of tonight's Celtics game. The key player just cleared to play here in Game 2 of the Eastern Conference Finals in Miami. WBZ News at 6 starts now with breaking news. And we begin with breaking news on the T. The MBTA is pulling all its new Orange Line cars off the tracks because of a brake problem on one train. The T says the trains will be out of service until it can pinpoint and fix the problem. Four big stories unfolding as we come on the air. Starting with the next weather alert. A big change after today's cool air. We're talking record heat and a chance for some all-time records to fall this upcoming weekend. Brand new trains pulled off the tracks. Why some orange and red line cars are down for maintenance again. A ghost gun at school breaking tonight. Police reveal the weapons that put Charlestown High on alert and how school staff discovered them. And booster shots for kids as young as five, now just hours away. 
WBZ News at 11 starts now. Don't let the cool, gloomy weather fool you right now. Extreme heat is on the way, and we are under a next weather alert to help you get prepared. Check your air conditioning now because you are definitely mm. going to need it. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. Let's get right to our chief meteorologist, Eric Fisher. And Eric, the sun comes back tomorrow, and then we get into that record heat. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be kind of like our buff. Today on New England Living, we're raising a glass and toasting to the best our region has to offer. We visit a woman-owned winery creating its own unique blends and celebrating the beauty of the North Shore. And we head out for homemade scones and proper afternoon tea in Belmont. Plus, we're back in the test kitchen cooking up Italian food with the perfect wine pairing. It all starts right now on New England Living. New England has a style all its own. The people, the history, the culture. Join us as we discover the faces and places, the design and destinations, everyone and everything that makes New England extraordinary. I mean, does it get any better than this? Love the place you call home with New England Living. Thanks for joining us today on New England Living. I'm your host, Rachel Holt. First up on today's show, we're heading to the North Shore to visit a boutique winery and vineyard creating some of the area's most popular blends. Welcome to New England Chevy Dealer Sports Final. The clock has hit triple zeros, and the ball ends up in the hands of Al Horford, who goes to the NBA Finals for the first time as one of the greatest road seasons in NBA history now has its signature moment. A road win in Game 7. A road win that sends the Boston Celtics home. Home to the NBA Finals. The Celtics are Eastern Conference champions. Oh, how sweet it is. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sports Final. I'm Steve Burton. Celtics, Celtics are going Back to the NBA Finals for the first time in 12 years. Sitting beside me is Patrick Gilroy. But let's go straight to Miami, where Dan Roach is standing by with the owner, the proud owner of the Boston Celtics, Whit Grossman. 